After being rejected by the other animals in the zoo, an albino gorilla runs away in search of a color-changing potion, exposing himself to a dangerous hunter who wants his heart. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Snowflake, the White Gorilla, from 2011. In the jungle of Equatorial Guinea, a small gorilla baby is born albino, which causes him to be rejected by almost everyone except his mother. Everything gets even worse when a group of hunters invades the forest and captures the little albino gorilla. Unaware of his existence, a girl called Paula performs kick-ups while waiting for her turn to play, but the other students refuse to let a girl take part. Upset, Paula returns home to find her parents standing near a wooden box. As she gets closer, the girl realizes it's an albino gorilla baby and gets closer to talk to the animal, convincing it to come out of the box. Curious, Paula asks where he came from and his father, Jordy, tells her that he was captured in Africa, but will now stay at the zoo where he works, because albinos are not accepted by the other gorillas, leaving him exposed to hunters and predators in the jungle. Before going to the zoo, the baby needs a period of adaptation and will stay for five months at Paula's house, who decides to call him Snowflake because of his color. With that decided, the girl and the gorilla spend the next few months living together. With two days to go before Snowflake goes to the zoo, a letter carrier is delivering parcels when he notices a strange object he needs to deliver. On his way to the address, the man meets a maid who limps out of the house, saying that the owner is cursed and recommending that the letter carrier doesn't go near him. Realizing that the roof of the balcony is about to fall in, the letter carrier uses a stick to deliver the token to Dr. Archibald, who is so unlucky that the pen bursts in his hand. With the excuse of picking up another one, the unlucky man enters the house and appears behind the letter carrier a few seconds later, already with his package in hand. Saying he wants to test something, he goes under the balcony with the letter carrier and is extremely happy that nothing happens, saying that he has finally found an amulet that works. As soon as he says this, the balcony begins to creak and the roof collapses on top of him, almost hitting the letter carrier. Tired of his lack of luck, Archibald limps into the house, where he sees a news report about the arrival of the white gorilla at Barcelona Zoo. As soon as he sees the news, Archibald goes to his library and picks up the Book of Infallible Amulets, discovering that the artifact made from the heart of an albino gorilla guarantees luck forever, which makes him determined to capture the animal. On the day he goes to the zoo, Snowflake is very afraid to leave, but Paula manages to calm him down by promising to see him every day and handing him a bag with some presents, asking him to open it only when he arrives at his new home. Calmer, the gorilla goes with Jordy to the zoo's transport truck, which takes him to his new home. When he gets there, Snowflake is scared again and the vet has to reassure him. To make matters worse, one of the gorillas already at the zoo notices the increase in visitors and becomes extremely annoyed, especially Ron, who feels watched by the crowd. While the silverback gorilla tries to intimidate the crowd, Jordy leaves Snowflake at the entrance to the cage and encourages him to go and talk to the other animals. From afar, the albino gorilla sees Ron and his children and decides to hide out of fear. While walking backwards, the young one ends up dropping his backpack, which causes him to be noticed by Nidenge, Ron's youngest. When she sees her new companion, the girl gets extremely excited and starts chatting to him, while Snowflake stays hidden for fear of being judged. After a little insistence, Snowflake agrees to show himself and everyone is impressed by what they see, except Ron, who seems to be jealous that he attracts more attention than the others. Furious, the male with the silver back confronts the young one, but only decides to back down and forbids his children to go near him. Without realizing that he is already being watched by Archibald, the albino gorilla sets up his nest with the things in his backpack when a red panda called Eiler appears. Wanting to comfort Snowflake, the little panda tells him not to worry about Ron and not to let him destroy his karma. Eiler says he knows what it's like to be different and claims that he was born as a red panda, but is actually a black panther trapped in this body. When he sees Eiler, Keto appears and starts teasing him, making the panda run away. After he returns to his cage, Ron stares at the newcomer and orders Keto to move away, leaving Snowflake alone. At night, Nidenge waits for her father and brother to go to sleep and goes to the albino gorilla, who shares a pot of yogurt with her. While they eat, they watch the moon and start talking about their mothers. Suddenly, Ron comes running towards them and starts threatening Snowflake, calling him a monster and saying that he'll never be a real gorilla. Ron also warns him never to go near his daughter again and that if he disobeys, he'll regret it, picking Nidenge up and taking her back to the nest, while Snowflake thinks about how much easier his life would be if he wasn't albino. The next morning, a truck is driving in front of the zoo when it runs over a rock, knocking over several leaflets promoting the Witch of the North. When he sees the paper, Snowflake discovers that the witch will be at Mount Tibidabo, fulfilling the dreams of everyone who comes to her. 
As soon as he finishes reading, Snowflake realizes that Paula and her family have come to visit. Seeing her friend isolated, the girl asks why and Jordy replies that new members of the gang need to go through an adaptation period, but Paula doesn't believe him and decides to go to the entrance of the cage to talk to him. Excited, the albino gorilla shows the pamphlet and gestures that he wants to change the color of his fur to be accepted, but Paula says it's crazy. Even so, Snowflake asks the girl to accompany him and she obviously turns him down, which makes the gorilla leave rather upset. At home, Paula tries to tell her parents about what she's discovered, but Jordy and his wife don't believe her. At the zoo, Snowflake shows Eiler the pamphlet and tells him that the witch can give him the body of a panther, trying to convince the red panda to accompany him. Despite his dream, Eiler says that leaving the zoo is extremely dangerous, as outside they could be caught by the dogs or eliminated by crazed humans. Even so, Snowflake is determined to go to the witch and says he'll take the risk alone, which makes Eiler give in and agree to help him. At the same time, Dr. Archibald is thinking of a way to capture the gorilla and is preparing his van for the mission, gathering all the necessary equipment. Before leaving, Snowflake takes advantage of Ron's sleep and goes to Nidenge to tell her about his plan. Upon hearing that he wants to leave the zoo, the girl offers to go along, but the albino gorilla says he needs another favor, asking her to make sure the staff don't notice he's gone. After the albino baby leaves, Nidenge gets out of detention and goes to her older brother, using bunches of bananas to convince him to paint himself white and impersonate Snowflake. Outside, the real albino gorilla meets Eiler, who warns them to be extremely careful. Despite the warning, the albino gorilla runs off in the direction of the first yogurt pot he sees, causing them both to fall into Archibald's trap. With the animals in his van, the unlucky villain locks up the pair and starts driving towards his house. In the middle of the journey, a lady crosses the road in front of Archibald, forcing him to brake abruptly and disabling the pulley system that frees the animals. While talking to the woman, Archibald realizes that the two are fleeing and tries to go after them, but ends up falling into his own trap, allowing the animals to make their way to safety. At home, Paula decides to go to the zoo to see Snowflake, but ends up being interrupted by Leo, a classmate who offers to help her. Afraid to say what she's planning, the girl refuses and walks to the zoo. When she arrives at the place, Paula realizes she doesn't have enough money and begs the attendant to let her in, but Leo shows up to help her, paying for two tickets. In the gorilla cage, Keto finishes covering himself with the white powder and goes to make his presentation in place of the snowflake, but Paula immediately realizes that this is not her friend and starts running towards the witch. While people applaud his son in disguise, Ron wakes up and gets Nidenge out of detention, starting to look for Keto. Outside the zoo, Snowflake and Eiler go to the top of a building to see the mountain, but the Buddhist panda decides that this is a good time to stop and meditate. Since he can't abandon him, the ice gorilla has no choice but to wait until his friend has finished, and then he can set off. Looking for him, Archibald sees Paula walking down the street and pretends to be a fan of the white gorilla, asking for an autograph and offering to give her a lift, putting them both in the van. As he drives through the streets, the unlucky man notices that Paula is looking at the witch's leaflet and starts talking to her. Taking advantage of their distraction, Leo picks up the Book of Infallible Charms on the floor and starts reading, discovering that Archibald wants Snowflake's heart. As soon as he finds out, the boy tries to warn Paula not to say anything about the animal. But the girl doesn't understand and ends up letting it slip that the Snowflake wants to change color. With this information, Archibald becomes even more desperate to capture his target and traps the two in the back of his van. Jumping over buildings, the Red Panda and the Gorilla cross the city in search of the witch. At the zoo, Keto continues to pretend to be the Snowflake, enjoying all his success. During his lunch break, the young one goes to eat some bananas and is confronted by Ron, who, not realizing that this is his son, threatens him again. Tired of jumping over buildings, the Gorilla and the Red Panda get on a cable car and hitch a ride to the witch's house. While trying to reach the hill, Archibald passes by the vehicle and sees the two animals up there, starting to chase them. Because of the wind, Eiler ends up dropping the map on the villain's windshield, forcing him to jump after it. To prevent Archibald from knocking his friend over, Snowflake jumps after him and pulls him onto the roof, but the human breaks abruptly, causing them both to fall onto the hood. Because of the jammed door, the doctor can't get out and the two take the opportunity to escape. At the zoo, Keto is sad after the scolding he received from his father and stops performing. Trying to comfort him, Nidenge goes over to talk to him, but Ron sees the two of them together and approaches to carry out his threat. Luckily, Nidenge manages to warn him in time and he narrowly avoids taking his own son's life. Seeing what Ron was about to do, the crowd begins to boo, but the silver-backed male is more concerned with understanding what is going on and takes his children away from the crowd. When they are alone, 
Naidenge explains that Snowflake has left and that they are helping him, but Ron replies that the baby will never survive the dangers of the city, saying that they can stop worrying. Running through the woods, Snowflake and Eiler reach the top of the hill, where they break into the witch's trailer. Taking advantage of the fact that she is already attending to a customer, the red panda opens the woman's purse and steals a good amount of money to pay for her services. After the customer leaves, the two animals reveal their presence to the witch, who is amazed to see a white gorilla taking off her mask. After revealing her true identity, the woman asks what they want and Snowflake asks to change his color, but the witch replies that his fur is extremely precious and that she can't do that. Trying to bribe her, the albino gorilla pulls out a tuft of his own hair and gives it to the witch, who finally agrees to prepare the potion. With that settled, the woman begins her preparations when she is interrupted by Eiler, who offers her money to transform him. While the woman tries to understand what he wants, Archibald arrives on the hill and takes a machete to go after the gorilla, leaving the two behind. Alone, Leo and Paula manage to break free and start following Archibald. In the trailer, Eiler manages to make the witch understand that he wants to turn into a Black Panther, but she tells him that this is impossible, saying that she can change some things, but making him change species is beyond her powers. Upset, the Red Panda asks for his money back and decides to use the time to meditate. In the middle of the woods, Archibald is looking for the witch's hut when he catches his machete in a tree. While trying to release the object, the man knocks over a beehive that falls on his head, causing him to be stung by thousands of bees. Inside the hut, the witch finishes the potion and gives it to Snowflake, asking him to go back to the zoo and mix in the fur of a black gorilla, saying that once he's done that, he can take it and he'll be able to change color. As soon as she has finished explaining, Archibald arrives at the trailer to get Snowflake, but the woman tries to stop him by jumping on his back and hitting the man over the head with a frying pan. Even so, Archibald manages to knock the witch unconscious, clearing the way to capture the albino gorilla. In the forest, Paula and Leo finally make it to the witch's hut, but they're too late. Seeing the woman blacked out, the two approach her and manage to wake her up, asking where the gorilla has been taken. At home, Archibald ties the gorilla to a table and goes to the Book of Amulets to see how the ritual should be performed, only to realize that Leo has torn out the sheet with the instructions. Even so, the villain knows that the pair will come after the animal and waits until they arrive, cornering them in the kitchen and asking for the page of the book. Frightened, Leo hands over what he asks for and Archibald locks them both in the fridge. Trying to escape, Paula throws a pan to try and break the glass in the door, but ends up hitting the compressor control, which causes the temperature to drop extremely quickly. In the operating room, Archibald is preparing to extract the snowflake's heart when he is interrupted by a fly. In her hut, the witch is tidying up when Eiler finishes his meditation, offering the money so that the woman can tell him where to find his friend. In the operating room, Archibald begins the extraction ritual when the fly invades again, knocking over the operating light and causing the man to miss the fatal blow. With the dagger stuck in the table, the villain goes to find another knife and Eiler arrives at the fridge to save the youngsters. Together, the three go to Snowflake and manage to free him, but Archibald was already expecting this and locked all the entrances. Thinking of jumping out of the window, Paula suggests going to the second floor and they all head for the stairs. While picking up a machete in the next room, Archibald sees the youngsters and just watches them throw glue down the stairs. Instead of going upstairs with his friends, Snowflake returns to the operating room and retrieves the potion from his backpack. When he tries to join his friends, the animal is almost hit by the villain who tries to hit him with a shovel. Trying to dodge, Snowflake jumps onto the chandelier and ends up being hit by Archibald, flying towards the stairs. To prevent him from getting stuck, Eiler jumps towards his friend and manages to get him to a safe place, unlike Archibald, who loses his balance and falls face first into his glue. Taking advantage of the fact that the human is trapped, the two animals climb on top of him and try to jump out of the window, but it is also locked. At this point, Archibald manages to free himself and starts looking for the group, who go up to the attic to find a way out. When he reaches the top floor, the villain starts checking under the sheets and finds Snowflake hiding with the youngsters. Being stronger, the adult manages to trap Leo and Eiler in a cupboard, leaving only Paula to save her gorilla friend. Using a clay pot, the girl even manages to hurt Archibald, but he remains standing and decides to take Paula as his prisoner, ordering Snowflake to surrender. While thinking about what to do, the girl notices a globe near her foot and has the idea of using it to her advantage, giving the albino gorilla a pass to kick the object in the villain's face. With the man unconscious, everyone escapes from the house and both Eiler and Paula try to convince the white gorilla to give up the transformation, but he has already made up his mind and runs back to the zoo. Using a bicycle, Leo and Paula pedal after him while the police arrive to arrest Archibald. In the primate's cage, 
Snowflake meets Nidenge and Kira and asks for some of their fur, telling them about the potion. Upon learning of his plans, the two gorilla babies refuse to help, saying that he should accept himself the way he is. At that moment, Ron appears and hands his own fur to the albino baby, saying that if he wants to stay with the gorillas, he must look like one. Even though he's not sure he's right, Snowflake puts his fur into the bottle, spilling a drop of the potion that leaves a black flower. When her friend is about to take the antidote, Paula arrives at the place and talks about everything Snowflake went through to be like them, saying that all people are different and should accept each other. Moved by her words, Snowflake throws the potion away and Ron finally decides to accept it, allowing the white gorilla to stay in the cage with his family. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.